Guys, welcome back to the CyberPlaid build. It's about to get a lot more technical. So I was messing around with A pillar, B pillar, and where to connect it, basically C and D, right? So there's gonna be eight contact points making this skeleton. So everything is made from either stainless steel or chromoly. Right now, what I did was, I didn't wanna get this on video because I did and redid, did and redid. The bracket that is inside this A pillar right here goes down and you can see the bolt, 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 and two bolts here. And these go all the way through and it sandwiches, you know, uh, this, this thing together. Super solid, as solid as I can get it, I think, because this whole body is aluminum. Let me put on this front windshield piece and show you what I came up with. Okay, <laughs> so this is its final resting place. I'm gonna have to integrate, you know, obviously the hood with the windshield and the windshield is a little more rounded, yes. So the Model S windshield is three feet long. The Cybertruck windshield is six feet long. So obviously there's gonna be a slight curve on the top, but this peak right here is just above 44 inches. That's actually lower than the Cyberosa by a couple inches this thing's gonna be even lower so right now I'm at the point where I need to build this skeleton I'm not gonna be rounding the tubes this chromoly is extremely strong I used two different machines to bend this pipe 8 ton 12 ton they both broke what I'm doing is I'm still gonna do complete like overkill on this so all right so this right here is the B pillar bracket Usually you're supposed to put the uh, roll cage on the bottom, basically on the floor, but since the battery is on the other side, this right here is a very thin aluminum and it's kind of pointless to try to attach it to that, right? That's what I came up with. Up the plans, listen in the jam, stress is off the window, kick your feet up and relax, ease your foot up off the gas, and if you're going through it, this too shall pass. Woo! Hey. hey, I'm feeling like myself again. Man, I'm feeling like myself again. Yeah. That's the setup basically for what was right here, the B pillar. So this right here is a two inch uh, chromoly. The base plates are all stainless. It's basically one of these right here. So I'll slide in like that and this will get welded. Past the ceiling, the wind in my hair, I can see the light. At the end of the tunnel as I'm taking flight. All right, so this part of the roll cage is built. This I want to say is about 50%. There's a lot more to do. I need a connection from here to here. Uh, this is what I came up with because the, originally the B pillar was connected to basically here and here and went up here. Check this out. I'm gonna weld this together, get this all in one piece, then, you know, make my piece for here to connect here to here. Check this out. Hopefully it works so I don't have to redo this. This will go here, and this will go here. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Don't look too close. <laughs> weld it down here. After I weld it, I'm gonna take it off, unbolt it, put a bunch of glue in here, and then put it back on, because I don't wanna weld after the glue. That's it's pretty much gonna just burn up the glue.
basically weld this and that's it for the B pillar. So the, these two right here, these two setups is what replaces the original B pillar that was here. You can see it was connected. Oh, it was these, these bolts right here. So this was roughly the center. So these bolts was right here. And I slightly moved back my B pillar because the door on this is gonna be wider, two seater. And um, door's gonna hinge on that all the way in the middle. That's gonna be cool. I'm excited for that one. I'm really excited for that, how that's gonna work. This, this all dried up. Oh, I think I can push it out. Let's, let's jump to the other side. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, so next step, what I gotta do is <laughs> Take a look at how stubby the rear end is gonna be. So these are the original brackets. These are metal onto aluminum. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my own bumper here that's gonna consist of uh, stainless steel. All right, so this is my bumper using straight one and a half by one and a half stainless steel 3 16 uh, square tubing, basically. I stacked three of them together, welded on the to the original brackets, and from then on, it's gonna be bolted on, and then using panel adhesive. Um, where is it? Man, it's a mess in here. Why is this thing so long? Is this necessary? This is not right. That does not look right. Why is only white is coming out? It's supposed to be black. This gun is crap. I was wondering why this gun was so cheap. I guess you get what you pay for, right? 